Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing data interpretation that is paragraph data interpretation. Here, first of all, uh, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions uh, according to the given information. Here, the information is about a uh, number of appeared candidates and past candidates uh, in a test from seven different uh, institutions. Here, the information is about number of uh, students, uh, those who are appearing for the exam and uh, how many members are passed uh, from seven different institutions. Here, the institutions are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are the seven different institutions uh, and one is about appeared candidates, one is about uh, past candidates. And one more thing is, don't forget that all the values are given in terms of thousand sorry hundreds all the values are given in terms of hundreds if it is given in terms of hundred what we have to do is we need to multiply every value with hundred we need to multiply every value with hundred here for example this is 11 11 is indicating that 1100 the meaning of that one is 1100 here it is 500 like that we need to take the values okay this is the given information. Given information is very clear and very easy to understand as well. Okay. Now, we need to solve the questions according to the given information. Here, the first question is, what is the difference between, what is the difference between number of candidates appeared from institutions B, C, D and F together and the candidates past here you need to be very much cautious about whether it is appeared or else past that is the reason why i am just rounding up these these terms here the thing is asking about here the candidates from appeared candidates and after that he is asking about past candidates from institutions a e g together first of all Take the values of appeared candidates, appeared candidates from B, C, D, F and then add all the values. Appeared candidates, first B, B appeared candidates, 1400, next C, 700, C, 700, D, 1200, D. 1200 and next uh, f f is 600 f is 600 now you can add all the values 0 0 4 plus 7 11 11 plus 2 13 13 plus 6 19 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 3 9 double 0 total appeared candidates from the institutions b c d f together 3900 and then past candidates past candidates from the institutions a e g here first a a is equal to 1200 next e e is equal to 1200 that is also 1200 past candidates g g is equal to 500 now you can add these values 0 0 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 5 9 1 plus 1 2 2 9 double 0 total appeared candidates from b c d f 3 9 double 0 total past candidates from a e g institutions that is 2 9 double 0 now we need to calculate the difference between those two values difference between those two 3 9 double 0 minus 2900 which is equal to 1000 1000 is the required difference between uh, those values 1000 uh, 1000 is the answer option c is the right answer for this question option c next question what is the average number of average number of candidates passed from all the institutions together here the question is Average of candidates passed, not appeared. Be careful about it. From all the institutions together. 
Here, as we all know that average is equal to sum of observations. Sum of observations divided by number of observations. Sum of observations divided by number of observations. As we are calculating the average of past candidates, average of past candidates, uh, we need to take the sum of all the past candidates. Uh, here, past candidates, I am just a round off the past candidates from each and every institution. 12, this is 10, this is 4, this is 4 again, this is 12, and this is 2, and this is 5. All the values are in terms of uh, hundreds. So, I will just multiply at the beginning itself, and then I will add all the values. 12 plus 10 plus 4 plus 4 plus 12, plus 2, plus 5. Whole divided by number of observations. Number of observations in the sense, how many institutions we are taking into consider? Total, 7 institutions. Therefore, the required average is equal to average of all past candidates. Average of all past candidates, which is equal to add all the values. 12 plus 10, 22. 22 plus 4, 26. 26 plus 4, 30. 30 plus 12, 42. 42 plus 2, 44. 44 plus 5, 49. 49 into 100, which is 4900, divided by 7. 4900 divided by 7, which is equal to 7, 7, sir, 49, 2 zeros, sir. Average number of, uh, uh, you know, average number of students who passed from all the institutions together, which is equal to 700. 700 is the required answer for this question. Option A. Let us look at the next question. Here the next question is, number of candidates passed from institutions C and E together. C and E together is approximately what percent of total number of candidates appeared from institutions uh, A and G together. Here, uh, the thing is, uh, we need to calculate the approximate percentage. That approximate percentage is nothing but number of candidates passed. Past candidates, past candidates from C and E together is what percent of total number of candidates appeared. Appeared candidates, appeared candidates from institutions A and G together. Numerator value, past candidates C and E, what percent of appeared candidates A and G? As we are calculating the percentage, into 100 percentage symbol is common thing. Therefore, our required approximate percentage, which is equal to C and E past candidates, 4 plus 12. 4 plus 12 divided by appeared candidates. Here, even though we have uh, into 100, uh, this is given in terms of 100s, numerator will be in terms of 100, Denominator will also be in terms of 100. So, in that case, both values will be cancelled. That is the reason why there is no need of writing 400, 1200. That is not required. Okay. Now, coming to the denominator, appeared candidates A and G. Appeared candidates A, 1300, whereas G, 1100. 13 plus 11 into 100. Percentage which is equal to approximate percentage, that is 12 plus 4, 16 by 24. 16 by 24 into 100 percentage. Now you can cancel with 4 table. 4, 4 sir, or else 8 table directly. 8, 2 sir, 8, 3 sir. 2 by 3 into 100. 2 by 3 into 100, which is nothing but 66.66 percentage. 66.66 percentage which is approximately equal to 67 percentage. That is the 
required approximate percentage required approximate percentage 67 among the options option e is the right answer for this question option e let us look at the next question from which institution the difference between the appeared candidates and the past candidates the maximum here difference between appeared and past so it is not required to uh, you know calculate all the values if you look at institute a here appeared candidates 13 just by observing the values these are appeared candidates and these are uh, past candidates and this is the difference right here 13 minus 12 which is equal to 1 in should be in should be appeared 14 and past 10 difference is 4 and next c appeared 7 past 4 7 minus 4 3 next in should d in should d appeared 12 and past 4 difference 8 in should e appeared 15 and past 12 that is equal to 3 in should f appeared 6 this is appeared 6 and past 2 which is equal to difference 4 last one in should g appeared 11 and past 5 that is equal to 6 now among all the differences uh, this difference is maximum that particular difference is maximum for institute uh, d institute d is the right answer for this question option c option c is the right answer for this question in examination point of view you just look at the difference directly just by seeing the observ observation of this particular diagram here if you observe carefully here these two values are close to each other right these two values but whereas coming to this particular in should d has a large variation so because of that reason directly you can keep the answer as in should d in examination point of view just for understanding purpose i have explained like this but in examination point of view time is very important uh, for competitive examinations okay and last and final question in this session what is the respective ratio between here we need to calculate the ratio between number of candidates who have failed from in should be it means uh, failed candidates failed candidates from in should be and the number of uh, candidates who have appeared from in should uh, f uh, appeared in should f appeared in should f that is the ratio we need to calculate before going to that here failed candidates are not directly given first we need to calculate that here how can we get the failed candidates data here appeared candidates total appeared candidates is equal to basically past candidates plus failed candidates past candidates plus failed candidates so from this uh, appeared is given past is given definitely will get a failed candidates data failed candidates is equal to appeared candidates appeared candidates minus past candidates it means uh, if we subtract the past candidates from total appeared candidates we'll get the failed candidates data now if you look at in should be here we are talking about uh, failed candidates from in should be Failed candidate in should be which is nothing but appeared minus past. Here appeared is 14 from in should be whereas past is 10. 14 minus 10 that is the failed candidates data from in should be. Whereas uh, second one appeared candidates uh, from in should F. Appeared candidate. Here appeared candidate from in should F that is 6. Now we need to calculate the ratio 4 is to 6 which is equal to 2 is to 3. 2 is to 3. That is the required ratio of uh, failed candidates from institute B and appeared candidates from institute uh, 
F. 2 is to 3. Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B. Guys, uh, in this way, we need to solve the questions. Uh, I hope you understand each and every problem. And thank you. Thanks for watching.